fluoroscopic and endoscopic calcaneal spur resection without plantar facial release for recalcitrant plantar fasciitis. The patient was placed supine on the operating table. The lower leg was sustained with a leg holder, and traction was applied to stabilize the operated foot. The fluoroscopy, fluoroscopy monitor, and arthroscopy monitor were placed on the unoperated side, and the surgeon stood at the end of the operating table. The C-arm was placed under the table to obtain a perfect lateral view of the calcaneus. The tip of the calcaneal spur was marked on the medial and lateral sides of the foot using the lateral view during fluoroscopy. Five millimeter skin incisions were made on the planned medial and lateral portals. A straight mosquito forceps was introduced to the skin incision. The medial edge of the plantar fascia was palpated using the tip of the mosquito forceps, and the forceps was advanced on the plantar fascia to reach the calcaneal spur, where blunt dissection was performed. The spur was on, not in, the plantar fascia, thus, separation of the spur and plantar fascia was possible. A 3 mm hooded abrasion burr was introduced from the medial portal. The burr palpated the tip of the spur, and fluoroscopic resection was performed. The hood of the burr was directed to the flexor digitorum brevis muscle to avoid damaging it. Both the medial and lateral edges of the spur were resected with internal and external rotations of the foot. The spur resected space became the working space for endoscopy. An arthroscope was introduced through the lateral portal and advanced on the plantar fascia to reach the spur resected space. A cutter was introduced through the medial portal and advanced to the arthroscopic view, and the debris was cleared. The plantar fascia remained attached to the calcaneus. The skin incisions were sutured using 4-0 nylon. Postoperative care Full weight bearing without an orthosis was initiated one day after surgery, as tolerated. The nylon suture was removed two weeks postoperatively. Participation in sports activities was allowed one month after surgery, as tolerated.